Hey guys, um, welcome back to another clothing haul. I really enjoyed doing the last one, so I thought I'd give it another go um, with a different store. Pretty little things, just wasn't my cup of tea, I think. I did end up getting an oversized jumper, which is back here, um, and some bike pants and an oversized t-shirt, which I really enjoy wearing. But other than that, the rest of the stuff was a bit of a bust. So today I thought I'd try something different and I went onto um, Boohoo's website. Now they have a huge selection of plus size clothing as well and they were having a sale. So I bought everything, I think it was like either 40 or 50% off. So I thought, why not grab a few things and show you? Also wanted to mention that Boohoo do Afterpay. I'm a major fan of Afterpay and I buy a lot of my stuff through there. Afterpay is an app where you can purchase things, order them, have them delivered to you and paid up paid off over four fortnightly installments um so i literally have to pay nearly everything these days definitely have to pay these clothes still paying them off but i'm happy with most of them so it's not too bad just logging into the boohoo website so i can have a look at how much everything costs and let you know um i'm pretty sure they're having a 40 percent off everything sale so it says it ends in one hour but I feel like it could be another one of those trick things like Pretty Little Things did to me where, you know, they said 50% of everything ends in an hour and then it was going for two days after that. So I actually ordered two separate, um, did two separate orders through Boohoo because I found some things on sale again after I ordered the first lot and I really wanted to try them. So I ordered this dress here. It doesn't say the price I paid for it, so I'm hoping it definitely wasn't special, but this was the plus paisley wrap maxi dress in the color blush. I ordered everything in the size 24 because again, the same as pretty little thing. It said that the Australian size and the UK sizes were the same. So I upped my sizes by two. So I ordered everything you see here today. I ordered in a size 24. And I'm glad I did because this dress here, size 24, this was 37.80. Fits everywhere, it's a little bit big around the boobs. Um, but the arms are so flippin' tight. I don't know if you can see. I can't, like that is so skin tight. There's nothing there for me to grab. Um, and I can barely move in it. So it's pulling across the back. So tight. Bigger size they have. Um, even if they had a bigger size, I probably wouldn't want to go up because I am literally falling. Like this is so loose. But this dress itself, it's actually, it's like really good quality. It's long, it's all the way to the floor. You can't really see it, I have to move the camera down. Um, it is a wrap dress, but it's a fake wrap, which means that it looks like it's wrapped, but you don't wrap it yourself, it is sewn in there. It has a slip underneath, which is sewn into it, and this just opens up like this. So it's quite airy, super comfortable, not stretchy at all. Love it, except it does not, I can't, I can't even do this properly. It does not fit around my arms, unfortunately, so this one's going to have to go back. But if you have smaller arms than me, which I'm sure you do, I've got awesome tuck shop lady arms. If you have smaller arms than me, this will possibly be a good fit. There's still a little bit of room. This has got like an elastic around here, so, you know, it will stretch out a bit if you've got bigger boobies. That's that one. Okay, this next dress is the Gemma Collins Satin Ruffle Wrap Maxi Dress. For those of you who don't know who Gemma Collins is, she is a reality TV star from the UK, from Essex actually, from a TV show called The Only Way is Essex. So Gemma's plus size and she, I believe, has a clothing boutique in um, Essex, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So this is from her collection. Um, it's satin, it's super comfy, it's very thin, lightweight quite low in the front still with this one also is quite a lot of room in here a lot of room on the arms and this one which is good but I don't know if you can see it kind of might be too big for the top it's kind of buckling it does it's not tight at all it's no stretch obviously because it's satin um, I'm just not sure how I feel about it so it's got this wrap part which is oh, I'm showing a little bit of leg it is sewn into the dress the dress actually is sewn joined here excuse me um, so there is a bit of a split so you do have to tie that up um, and there's plenty of room for that on me this is a size 24 also um, anyway so I don't know if you can see it has this kind of ruffle kind of like a Spanish oh, 
dress. So I, I've just moved the camera down so you can see the bottom of the dress there. Hopefully you can see it. Um, but yeah, it has that kind of Spanish dancer, flamenco dancer oh, look to it. So I'm not sure about this dress, how I feel if I'm going to send this one back or not. I mean, in all honesty, where am I going to wear it? I don't know. Do I have an occasion that calls for a black satin dress? Not anytime soon. But I mean, it's kind of comfy and I don't know. This one's a maybe. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this dress and whether or not you think I should keep it. Got one more dress to show you. Um, okay, this dress, in all honesty, I bought because on these websites you always see these plus size models wearing, I mean, they are plus size in, um, I don't know, society standards, I suppose. Um, they're wearing these dresses and this plus size model might be broader across the shoulders or broader in the hips or broader in the thighs, but none of them have this deliciousness. So I thought it'd be interesting to see, if I bought this dress, what it would look like on me. And yes, people with big boobs will know the struggles, but this dress, I don't think you're supposed to wear a bra with, and there is no way I'm going without a bra in anything. Um, but anyway, let me show you what I mean. Okay guys, are you ready for this? You can probably tell from it quite stretchy um, I'm wondering if I should have got a smaller size because it is super stretchy but either way I don't think that I'll be wearing this in public anytime soon so here we have this dress in all its glory okay this is the plus glitter high neck split mini dress it is mini well for me it comes down above my knees um, I didn't get this in a 24 there was a little bit of a split there um, I could have probably gotten down a size smaller. This is super stretchy and I'm, I could literally fall out of this any second. And the reason I say that you're possibly not supposed to wear it with a bra is because it's one of those, it's quite low in the back. Yeah, it's just, you see, I mean, I love it. On the model, it looks fucking awesome. On me, I mean, what is this? I could probably cover up with a jacket. And then you wouldn't see any of this or any of this. Um, you'd still see this. I don't know if it would look alright with some Spanx, but um, I don't know. I mean, I'm disappointed. I love, I really do love this dress. Like on the models, look how stretchy it is too. It is super. Like I can literally keep stretching this down longer if I wanted to, but then I know maybe that's how it's supposed to be worn. My bum crack is nearly showing, um, and my boobs are nearly popping out. So. I mean, it's this beautiful glittery material. It's not super scratchy. Um, and the neck is a halter neck. It literally just goes over your head. It's really comfy. It's not itchy at all. But unfortunately, I don't think it looks that good on me. Okay, this next item I'm showing you is a bodysuit. It is also from the Gemma Collins collection. It's just a satin bodysuit. Um, I bought this in a size 24. It was $24. This one is not tight on the arms, which is great. It's that same material as the wrap dress. Uh, it fits comfortable. I'm just, I'm not sure that I'm a body a bodysuit girl. I think the reason I'm not a bodysuit is because, like, when I wear pants, it just looks like I've got a tucked in shirt. And I think I've mentioned this before in a previous video. I'm not a fan of this area here. And so I feel really uncomfortable. But the bodysuit just looks so good. I don't know if a different pair of pants. I really don't know how I can make this work. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I don't know. So this might be another one that goes back. But yeah, it's a little bit tight on the arms. Not overly tight, but the other thing is bodysuits. Man, they're an effort. You have to get in there and clip them up. The first time I tried this on, sorry Bethany, I had to get Bethany to come and do it up because I, I couldn't do it. So this time I left the buttons, the clasp them up and just slid it on like a pair of pants. I don't know. Anyway, don't think the body sits for me, but these jeans. Okay, these jeans are the plus ribbed knee stretch skinny jean. I got these in a 24. They are also super stretchy. 
So yeah, these are the jeans. They're super stretchy. Now I've actually worn these a couple of times. Um, so when I first put them on, they were fit awesome and they were snug and all and everything. Now they're really, really stretched out a little bit. I probably need to wash them and chuck them in the dryer and see if they shrink up. Um, I'm forever pulling them up. But I think if I got a size smaller, it would have been too tight. But they fit really nice. These are really good quality jeans considering how much did I pay for these? I bought a couple of pairs of jeans. Um, I usually only buy my jeans from City Chic. Um, but their jeans are like a hundred bucks and let's be real, I can't afford a hundred bucks. So, I mean, for jeans, I live in jeans, but a hundred bucks per pair is a bit expensive. So on the website, these say they're 37.80. I don't know if that was my discounted price or if that's the actual price. I'll have to look in I'll link it all below for you anyway. Um, the other pair of jeans I bought were also 37.80 and I'll put them on now to show you the difference. There's not a lot of difference. I bought two in similar colour and two pairs in black, but I will show you all of them in a sec. So yeah, I mean I live in jeans, I love jeans, jeans are my jam, so. Okay, these next two items were the last items I bought in the first haul from Boohoo, before I ordered a few other things. Um, this top, let me have a looky see. Plus rainbow print tee, this was $15. I got it in a size 24. It's super stretch, stretchy, super light. It's kind of cute for hanging around the house and whatnot. I really like it. Um, I mean, it's a tee, what can I say? It's a little bit shorter than I like, but I'll probably just stretch it out. Okay, so these are the plus ripped cutoff stretch skinny jeans. Again, in a size 24, 37.80. Super comfy, super stretchy. Has the distressed look, has pockets in the back has pockets in the front. Um, the main difference between these ones and the first pair I tried on is, pro is probably the distressing. There's more in it and also I don't know if you can see at the feet. The other ones had a cuffed cuff at the foot, at the ankle, whereas these ones don't. They just go kind of distressed at the bottom as well. Just really like these. Super comfy, super stretchy. <laughs> Big thumbs up from me on these jeans. Okay, this next order. Um, I only ordered two pairs of pants and two tees. I don't know why, I ordered two pairs of black jeans. Slightly different, same thing, and two t-shirts. This t-shirt is the plus tipped t-shirt with heart. I'm assuming tipped means because of a line around there. I got this in a size 24, this is $13. Super stretchy, real basic tee. got a cute little love heart just up here. I mean, it's good for around the house. It's comfy, it's just a t-shirt, I don't know what else to say about it, but I mean I wish they made them a little bit longer. And then we have these pants, and these are the plus slash rip jegging. They're not jeans, they're jeggings. I also got these at a 24 and these were $20. So I was really excited to try these out. Um, they have quite a few rips in them, starting from here down. They're comfy, they are stretchy. Um, they don't fit as good as the jeans. They're definitely jean material. They just feel, see here, they're a little bit, I don't know, not as comfy as the other ones, not as stretchy. There is still some stretch in them. I can still move, move them out this way. I can still squat. I can do the squat test in them and stuff. Um, no front pockets, but there are back pockets. But they might just take a little bit of getting used to. I don't own a lot of back black jeans as such. Um, I'm more of a denim look girl. See, I feel like they're a bit, I can't pull them up because they're ripping. I feel like their crutch is quite low. So I feel like I have to really pull them up. But I'll give them a good go, let you know how I feel about them. I feel like they look good. They look all right. And they feel, they're not bad feeling. Like they're really, they're comfy. They could grow on me. But yeah, I'll let you know how how they go after a few wears. This next outfit. So the top. Let's talk about this top. It's quite. It's a bit see-through, which I'm fine with. It's quite light. It is a little bit shorter than I like. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that 100% yet. I'm trying to learn to love my body. It's a process. This is called the Plus Jersey Long Sleeve Open Back, open back T-shirt. I did get it in a size 24, it was $13. It came in a variety of different colors. I think it had red, 
they had other colors i just can't remember what they were definitely black so it's open back and i don't mind it i actually like it um maybe if it was a little bit longer i'd like it more but this is the back how i feel about how much how much skin you can see let me just have a look in the mirror here i mean you can see my bra i think maybe if the sizing was a little bit bigger if it went up another size um I don't know. I'm not mad at it though. I like the style. It's quite cooling. If I could have it, have it so it covered up my bra, I'd probably feel better about it. I don't mind showing this part of my back. Um, my tattoo especially there. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't want to have all my clothes just for around the house. Um, maybe if it wasn't... <laughs> White is quite see-through, like you see everything. So maybe I should have tried another color. It is super soft though, guys. Like, really soft, really stretchy, super comfy. It's just, I don't know. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think of this shirt and whether or not you think I should send it back or if it's appropriate to show that little bit of bra. I mean. I don't typically, this nude bra is my strapless bra, so I don't typically wear it all the time. And if I was to wear this, I'd wear a strap, a bra with straps. These jeans, are these are the black jeans that I bought. These are actual jeans, not jeggings. Um, look, I'm a bit confused because these were also a size 24. They're the plus ripped knee stretch skinny jeans. So they've got the distressing like every other pair of je jeans that I've had tried on. They were $34 um, and I did get them in a 24. But they feel super tight, like real tight, like they're digging in and, you know, I've got this happening, which I'm not sure about. They just, yeah, I don't know how I feel. They feel a little bit restrained. I feel restrained in them. I can do the squat test. Um, nothing's popping, nothing's bursting. But maybe they just need a bit of wear so they stretch out a bit oh, it's a little bit of stretch not as stretchy as the other jeans have been especially not around here so the waistband is not stretchy at all and this is the part that i feel is quite tight and restricting um like i need to undo my pants if i was going to eat anything i suppose if i don't eat i'm good right so yeah, i'm not sure about these jeans but everything else i'm kind of quite happy with in, in the way of pants and shirts I and mean, it's been a couple of misses but most of it's been hits so this is what we're left with this is the hits these are the clothes that are staying so we got one two we got four pairs of jeans and if i keep these jeans i'm wearing now we've got a few tees there and the misses look i'm still unsure about this bodysuit so let me know down below what you think about this as you can see the satin one um, this part down the bottom the part that clasps up is actually just a really soft stretchy jersey material but I don't know the three dresses the paisley dress the black wrap dress and the glitter dress I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're going back I have worked up a severe sweat today um, it is December the 3rd it's been, it was 41 degrees in my car at work today, so I can only guess what the temperature is right now. But it's hot. For my birthday, um, Mick took me to City Chic, and I bought some a new out, a couple of new outfits actually. And I wasn't sure if I should do a clothing haul because there's literally there's two pairs of jeans, two pairs of jeans, two tops, and a play suit. Um, so I might film that video if you guys are interested in seeing it. City Chic is one of my favourite. Plus size clothing stores. They are online as well as in store. They also do after pay, so you should definitely check them out. Um, they're just a little. They're a little bit more expensive than the other clothing hauls that I've done. Um, so boohoo and pretty little things, but they're worth it. The quality of the clothes are freaking awesome. Yeah, they're my favourite place. You can also buy lingerie, so and sleepwear and swimwear and things like that from them. So yeah, they're really awesome. So I might film that video and upload it. And I think that's it for clothing hauls. I think I'm good. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I enjoy making them, although the changing out of the clothes is working up a sweat. I literally have the aircon on. We have ducted aircon, and I have it only in this room at the moment. No one else is home. So, yeah, let me know if it's something that you enjoy watching, and I'll do some more.
I don't think I have, I have no more clothing hauls. I do have, I bought some things from Kmart and had them delivered because I'm that kind of gal. Kmart also do afterpay. Freaking afterpay is the best thing ever. As long as you pay it off, you're good. And I pay it off. It's almost like lay-by, but you get your stuff straight away. There's no interest. It comes out of your account every fortnight whenever you get paid or whatever. It depends on when you order it. But um, some stores, some places do take your first payment out on the first day. The dog. Uh, on the first day that you order. But most of them don't. It usually comes out the week or two weeks after your order. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about Afterpay, let me know. But I use it for a lot of these, all these clothing hauls that I've been doing. Except for the City Chic one. That was my birthday present. Thanks, baby. The kids and I have decided that we were going to do, we wanted to do Vlogmas, but with working full time as well, or working part time I should say, I don't have time to film every day and edit every day and have it up every day. So what we decided to do, we're going to try and do the 12 days of Christmas, which will start on the 12th and end on the 24th. Um, and we'll try and do a little vlog every day for those 12 days and see how we go. I think that's going to be our first attempt, so wish us luck. But I'll try and have a video up every day for the 12 days before Christmas up until New Christmas Eve and then obviously I won't have any on Christmas Day we'll be busy busy filming our Christmas for everybody I suppose so thanks guys for sticking around thanks for subscribing if you haven't already do so now it's that little red thing that's probably down below click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video so you can come and watch us um, give this video a thumbs up please share it around if you if you're keen or share some of my other videos around um, so I can get some more subscribers, some more subbies. I think that's all for now. Um, I'll catch you all next time. Bye. Um, and she is obviously, wow, thanks Thor. Come on in. Um, it's long down to the ground. So the dog is just playing. Cool. Okay. You take that and go. No, you're not going. Okay, cool. Baby. I'm trying to film a video here. And yeah, I think that's it. I will see you all. I don't know what to say. Hmm. But yeah, I think that's about it. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. That was lame. So yeah.